Okay, everyone, so a little warm up here. Yeah, get it? So what I have here is a little piece of aluminum metal inside of um, some water that's at about 76 degrees Celsius. Inside of here, I have 200 milliliters of water in a cup, and this water is at 20.6 degrees Celsius. So I got like five little warm up questions for you. If this piece of aluminum, and the temperature is kind of fluctuating here, but who cares? If this piece of aluminum is in that water fully, what's the temperature of this piece of aluminum? The aluminum metal. So just think about that and try and answer that. What's the temperature of the aluminum in this water if the water is now 80 degrees Celsius? Okay, number two. Um, I'm gonna take this piece of aluminum and I'm gonna put it in this water. So my second question for you is, so here we go. Where is the energy transfer going in this situation? So I put that aluminum metal that was in that water at about 80 and I put it into the water that was at about 20. So what's the direction of that energy flow now? It maybe only happened for a second there. It went up and then it went down. Um, so number question number three, does the amount of aluminum that I put in this water, do you think that would affect the temperature changes we're seeing? Then question four, does the amount of water I have in here affect the temperature change we see? Like would more water change the final temperature we get or would less water change the final temperature we get? Okay, then lastly, without calculating anything, how could you maybe predict the final temperature? Okay, so this is our little warm up for today's class.